sing one more song, um, very classic um, hymn, I Stand Amazed. And I like to always bring this back up because it's so easy for us to lose sight, but part of the words in the first verse says, And wonder how he, God, could love me, a sinner condemned unclean. And at one point in our lives, no matter when we receive Christ as our Savior, we were sinners condemned unclean at one point. And that's something that we can never forget, that we can never just kind of throw to the side. That we remember that it was God's love that he initiated that love for us sinners, condemned unclean. And he still has that same love for everybody who has not yet accepted. And as we've just been singing with all the songs, loving our neighbors, we're supposed to have that same love, that same sacrificial love for everybody, not just people within the church, but people also outside these, these walls. Um, so let's remember that as we sing this one. I stand amazed.
thank you, Lord, for the privilege that we have to be here this morning. Be with those who are not able to come, Lord, that they would, Lord, just be drawn close to you this morning in the, in the privacy of their own homes, Lord, just drawn close to you through prayer and in the word, that you would be speaking to them, Lord. Be with us here this morning. Help us to hear your word that you've placed in the heart of, of Pastor Tim, that we would take it to heart, that we would not just hear it, but we would leave here changed. It would, it would affect the way that we interact with people outside these walls, that it would affect the way that we interact with each other, how we do ministry, how we view you, Lord. Lord, thank you for your love for us. We don't deserve to be loved. At one point, we were all sinners, condemned and unclean, Lord, but you sent your Son so we could be washed in his blood, so we can pay the ultimate price, so we can be reconciled to you, that we can be righteous, that we would one day be able to be with you in eternity forever, forever singing and worshiping you, Lord, forever in your presence. I pray that that would be a fact that we would never forget, that it would never dull, that we'd remember, Lord, that same love that you have for us, you have for everybody outside of these walls, Lord, who have not yet accepted you as the Lord and Savior. Thank you, Lord, for the privilege of being able to worship you. In Jesus' name, amen. Amen. Amen.